Καλησπέρα. Uh, <laughs> good afternoon. Uh, so, it's going to be in English. Four questions. First of all, is it true that I'm the only person here in, uh, in the room that wears a jacket? What does that say? I don't know. Second question. How many of you are managers? Very few. How many of you are sales or were sales? Very few. How many of us are developers? Yeah. Okay. Right. So let's see. I'm talking with a manager's jacket, but as a developer, I hope. Somewhere in the African desert, there's a desert, appears a hot air balloon. It's not empty. There's a desperate person on it. I mean, he, he's dehydrated. I mean, he doesn't know where he is. He's, he's desperate, and suddenly he sees a couple of people, a boy and a girl, very well equipped. You see, they have hats, they have a map, well dressed for the desert, and they seem to know where they're going. Please tell me where I am, asks the guy. So the, the, the two people think for a while and say, well, obviously, you are in a hot air balloon 20 meters above the desert, right? The guy is, is, is totally, is totally crazy and says, are you engineers? Yes. How, how did you know? Well, obviously, you thought before answering. And then you gave me a correct answer. Absolutely correct. But for God's sakes, it doesn't help me at all. Huh? What are you doing, guys? So the, the, the lady looks at the guy and they both say, are you by any chance a manager or a sales guy? And the guy says, hey, yeah, how did you know this? Well, you are in a situation where you don't know how you got in that situation, where you're coming from, where you want to go. I mean, and then you ask the engineers to help you, okay? Help me, and we give you the best answer we can. We even think before we give you the answer. And then, it doesn't help you, but the problem is ours, okay? Do you agree that the title of this joke or story was creating software? Let's see if it is. Here comes our guy, yeah? under a big sun, dehydrated. It doesn't work. Have you heard that ever? Huh? Don't tell me you haven't. Where it's coming from? The customer mostly, but sometimes sales, you know, managers and most times this is a wrong statement because mostly what we do works, right? Okay. The customer wants it yesterday. Familiar? It's coming mostly from sales. What? What? No comment there. Okay. Do it fast. Huh? Now. We fix it later. Okay. Deliver now. Huh? We get the money. Huh? Okay. Okay. We will do it. What happens? Do you ever fix? You go back? I have to maintain something made fast, ever? What do you mean you want the X person months for this? Everyone shouts at us for that, eh? Yes, okay, because we want those. And you know, we'll make a framework that will have a conceptual model that will make our code and work wrong. And you know, between you and me, it's really twice the work, but we love coding because we love coding, right? So. This has been the story of my life for the last 20 years. Is there something rotten in the kingdom of software? Well, we have to, to look at some facts, okay? So, what we do, guys, is very complex, it's very demanding, and it's difficult. You have to teach an idiot savant, a very stupid genius, which is the computer, to do things. Right? And you have to be very sure you tell it what to do in all the cases. At least that. And to do it fast. And then, testing. How many times have you argued with the testers? Huh? It's even more difficult to test it. And ever read those? The Art of Computer Programming by Donald Kluth? You should. 
It's both an art and a science. It benefits from experience no matter what the technology, but I'm gonna come to that immediately. So we are doing something difficult and there's a promised land. Eh? This is the third time I have updated the slide and the cloud in my life. The first time it contained words like assembly, Pascal, basic. Eh? The old timers might remember them, but look where we are and even I think that I need to update it again. So all the time we have New things coming, the software is simplified, it is faster, it is revolution, we will uh, do more with less clear code, eh? okay? No. That's fake news. Don't, don't get me wrong, I mean, definitely as technology evolves, we do more things as machines get faster, more cores, more languages, more capabilities, more frameworks, but it still remains a complex place to work in, complex tools, complex methodologies, complex, complex, complex things you have to do. And no matter what you choose to do, you have a pattern. You have three values you have to balance. It's cost, it's time, and effort. You are pressed, we are pressed. I still write code, by the way, to deliver more with less all the time. So we need somehow to find the balance, right? I mean, after all, it's not just us. It's not that coders and developers and everyone else that, 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 you know, writes code. It's an, it's an organization. We have a lot of profiles. We have architects. We have testers. We have a designer, chief engineer, chief tester, the chief developer, the code monkeys that write the word. I have been a code monkey, by the way, yeah? for long of time. QA, you love QA, yeah? <laughs> And uh, it's a teamwork. You know who pays our salaries? It's these guys over there. And they have to be happy and they show profits because otherwise we're out of job. So they have to be satisfied. And we have to be satisfied as well, right? So we have to be in sync. So it's a whole, a whole um, dance over there and the success or failure is collective. So having said that, I think that this is we need to work and to operate, and there are some rules that I have fi found in my more than 20 years of writing code, starting from assembly and C in my university days, and even before that, with my Commodore 64 and everything, and up until now where we do some experiments in .NET and, uh, you know, still writing C++ and Java and all that stuff. So, some guideline. Do size up. Understand what you have to do. Size it up. For all the phases, eh? Design, test, implement, uh, document, maintain. Don't leave everything, anything uh, away. Fight for it. Then design it. If they say that you have to teach something to some kid in order to make sure that you understand it, then you have to design something in order to understand where it will work, the framework, the, the things you had to do, the load it will receive, how the users will abuse it, everything. You design it. Then don't just size up, but take the time you need and fight for the time you need. To design, to implement, to unit test, to unit test and then to test, especially to test. Do yourselves a favor and test. And also, it's very important out of all, of all the multitude of, of tools out there, of the ecosystems, is it going to be a Linux, Java, Oracle? Is it going to be a .NET, Azure, SQL Server? Is it going to be microservices? Is it going to be RESTful? Is it going to be, I don't know, client server? Select the tool, the framework you want, learn them. If they're imposed on you, like it happens in some of the projects I'm working in, take the time to learn it. Otherwise, you have a problem. And this is not a static thing. It's gonna be working or some environment, evolve. You're gonna have to fix it. You're gonna have to accept change requests. You have to expand it, so design ahead, think of it. And what you should avoid, 
Don't over engineer, okay? Don't make a framework for the sake of a framework that will ease up everything, okay? You understand? It, it has to be easy. Kiss. Keep it simple and stupid as much as you can. You ask and you fight for the time you want, no more nor less. The company is not there to, be, to pay charity or to give you the time to, to go to your heart's content, right? But don't underestimate either. If they come and tell you, look, we want you to do in 10 days, no, I want 100, period, because this is what I want. Not 200, but 100, not 10. And don't experiment. Learn the tools or use the tools you know. And don't leave any of the tools out. You need a version control, use it. You need a, la a language you know and trust, use it. And so on and so forth. And finally, it's not a static thing. It doesn't mean that I planned it in the best of my knowledge. No, it's alive. The customer probably will come back with additional requests. Um, sales will ask you to do a favor and do more. You haven't understood that that kind of little uh, lines ask you to do more screens that you had uh, estimated so on and so on and so forth. So be there every day, every day, okay? Plan. So maybe you get the idea. Maybe you understand that I've been quite a lot of balloons, but I don't like to be on a balloon. Yes, I'm in one minute I've finished. Yeah, I think we'll have time for questions because we have a one minute video coming up. So I've been in many balloons in my life, but it was not my choice. And as soon as I could, I preferred to jump out of the balloon because I was being tossed around and I couldn't control it. So I was preferring and I have been most of my life trying and managed to fly properly wherever I had to go. Uh, enjoying the ride, right? So I prefer to ride an airplane and I ride this airplane in my real life. So should I press this button? Huh? Yeah, let's press the button. Press us. So here it is. Take the controls, guys. Take the controls in your hands. You know, line up on the runway. Give it 100% throttle. Take off your project. Select everything carefully and then you are flying, right? Then suddenly you'll see, not you're just flying around. You're not over a desert. I have views of possibilities. Okay? Not only that, by the way, this is over Psatha. You have so many prospects, so many vistas. Look at the, the reflection. Huh? It's, it's amazing what you can do if you train well and do it well. And you can even respond to emergencies. Do a little bit of a show-off like we do here where we will do a touch and go with, uh, with just one wheel, you know, haha, <laughs> yes, you, touch and go. This is what you do when you select your strategy carefully. Thank you so much. I'm Nikos Dendris and I'm open to questions. Any questions? I see many colleagues here as well and many people I know, so <laughs> probably we've talked about this in a long time. Happy. So you do everything right. I'm very pleased about that. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Nick.